I cannot believe my manager has blagged this. Look at me with my new sleep. Oh. Really good news, but I know it's a bit of a roller coaster. There is absolutely no shame in that. I'm gonna have a little rant quickly. You're such a sweet girl. Happy Halloween. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. Do you know what? This week is starting a lot more positive than last week because one, I am loving the length of my hair in a ponytail now. How cute is that? Two, I used a different tan last night so my hands don't look horrendous this week. And three, I've actually had a really nice Monday morning. I've had a Monday morning for my own well-being this morning. I had a nice shower, went for a lovely long walk with Sunny. I've done my makeup, I'm just about to have lunch and then I'm gonna crack on with a lot of work this afternoon. I'm currently watching Maddie Bruce's new weekly vlog. She is defo one of my favorite YouTubers. I would say Maddie Bruce, sorry about the boiler if you can hear that. Maddie Bruce, Eleanor Neal, who else do I love? There's very few people that I get really excited about uploads. Let me have a look in my subscription box. I'll link these people in the description down below. I'd be interested to know who your favorite YouTubers are as well. Is there anyone you recommend? Have you found any smaller creators? Drop them in the comments down below. I'd love to have a look at them. Sophie and Dave, they're another channel I absolutely love. They're probably my top three. Let me know who your top three are. Let's share the love. Anyway, I'm about to go and have a little bit of lunch because I'm hungry now. I only had a little bowl of Cocoa Pops this morning and that's just not enough to keep this gal going. Oh my God. Just just quickly, I'm absolutely shocked at this. I'm gonna have to Google whether this is actually a thing because last night, my new plant, right? Here she is, I think I'm gonna call her Poppy. That was one of the suggestions from you guys and I do think she looks like a Poppy. Last night, I'll insert a picture. She went up like this and I messaged my friend who loves plants and I was like, um, Molly, why is the plant doing this? And you will never guess what Molly said. She said some types of this plant are called praying plants because at night time they put their leaves up like in a praying position. How does Poppy know when it's night time? Isn't that crazy? The plant's got more brain cells than I do. You guys are gonna judge my lunch today. I've got the least healthy, most carby, beigey, but delicious lunch ever. I'm very excited for this, but health warning will clog your arteries. I've got a whole baked camembert with toast and breadsticks. A whole baked cheese. Yes, please. <laughs> Start as you mean to go on, eh, pup? Hello, my fine fellows. It is a little while later. It's actually the evening now. Um, got a little question for you guys. I love having my hair curly, but my curls drop out so quick. It would be great if my curls lasted like two days, but they don't. I can guarantee I'll wake up in the morning and there'll be nothing like this. They might last a little bit because I haven't brushed them out. But generally speaking, if I went outside and it rained or if it was even a little bit windy, as soon as I come back, it would be completely straight. So has anyone got any tips of products I can use or things I can do to help my curls last longer, please? My hairdresser said I have really like shiny, um, like smooth hair. There's not a lot of texture to it. And obviously hair with texture, holds curls a lot better so if anyone's got any advice that would be greatly appreciated but the reason I actually turned my camera on is because a very exciting parcel arrived this morning I cannot believe my manager has blagged this she's only gone and got me a package from Kylie Jenner's skincare range how am I on that PR list now <laughs> Kylie Jenner. Anyway, this is what the range looks like. It is absolutely beautiful. So there are six products. There is the Walnut Face Scrub. This is the Foaming Face Wash. The Vanilla Milk Toner. That sounds lovely. I bet that smells nice. Let's give it a little whiff test. Oh. Oh my God, that smells like almond biscuits from M&S. Then there's also the Face Moisturiser, the Vitamin C Serum, and an eye cream. Very, very excited to try these. Siobhan, if you are watching, I wanna say a massive thank you. I don't know how you pull these miracles off, honestly, only you could do it. But we all know how I feel about skincare, and look at me with my new skin. Oh, sorry. I was just gonna say, look at me with my new skincare fam. Family must hate me. <laughs> Good morning. It's Tuesday morning now. I'm here with Sunny. Oh, where is she? There she is. It's puppy school day every Tuesday morning. Wow, look at my baby hairs. 
every Tuesday morning we come to puppy training. I bring her in this field first to hope that she poos because I don't want her to poo in class. It's not looking too hopeful today. Look at her back there. What a dinky little dot. What are you eating? You gonna do a poo for me? Wish me luck. Hello, it's a lot, lot later um, since this morning. Puppy training was good. Kind of. It was alright this week. It was very empty, so it felt a little bit like it wasn't as fun <laughs> this week. It's just educational, but school's not always fun, is it? Now a bit later, Leanne's here. Hello. Here she is. We're about to film a pumpkin carving video. This will actually already be up on my channel, so if you haven't <laughs> seen it yet, go and check it out. We've decided to do a little spin on it, so we're going to choose a design for each other mm -hmm. to do. <laughs> I've got one for Leanne, and it's actually a really nice design. Okay. It's not too hard, but it's not easy. With my skills, it's gonna be awful. <laughs> yeah, I know you're gonna struggle with it, but it'll be funny. <laughs> oh my goodness. I've been watching videos about a girl called JC Lee Duggard all day. Literally while I was getting ready, doing my makeup, setting up the lighting and everything. If you've never heard of the case of JC Lee Duggard, I'm gonna leave a video linked in the description down below. Go and watch it, it's the maddest story. I'm fascinated by it. And JC has now written a book. So I think I'm gonna download like the audio version of that and listen to it. Some people in this world are just crazy. People like me who are very excited for Bake Off and Gemma Collins on a Tuesday night. <laughs> good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday. I'm having a good brow day today, so I'm in a good mood. Having a proper cozy, comfy day today, I've decided. Minimal makeup, oversized hoodie, flared trousers. Flared trousers are just so much better than jeans, aren't they? A girl can never have too many flared trousers. Anywho, I'm about to pop out and take Sunny for a walk, and then me and my mum are both going to pop over to go outdoors we're still on a mission to kit ourselves out for winter because obviously when you've got a dog you've still got to go out for walks even when it's cold and rainy and i think i've mentioned this before it's actually one of my new year's resolutions this year to never be cold <laughs> i hate being cold so much i really feel the cold my hands hurt my ears oh my god if my ears hurt i'm in such a bad mood so yeah we're definitely going to properly kit ourselves out we don't want to be cold we don't want to get wet we want to have everything waterproof i don't care how ridiculous I look when I'm walking the dog. Wellies, fluffy socks, you name it. This girl's not getting cold on dog walks. No, thank you. So we're about to pop over. I actually rang them this morning and asked if dogs are allowed so we can take Sunny with us. And I was like, hello, uh, just wondering if you allow dogs in the store. And the man goes, yes, we do. We would rather have dogs than children. <laughs> That's my kind of person. Sunny's all ready with a fluffy sock from the washing. I love this little combo on her. Sunny, you're gonna sit up and show everyone. She wants to lay down, but she's wearing the dog tanky from Equifleece in Pale Heather, and this harness is from Poppy and Ted. Look how cute. <laughs> You're such a sweet girl. She has such a lovely nature. You give me kisses. She's just like her mum when we met her mum. I'm definitely gonna be looking into getting her therapy dog certificate. I'd love to take her into care homes and stuff when she's a bit older. They have to be at least nine months to start applying for that. I was looking into it yesterday, but I just think she would be the perfect dog to take into care homes because everyone loves her and she's so gentle as well. She would love a fuss and everyone she meets, she makes them smile. Please excuse the suitcase. We put that at the top of the stairs so she doesn't go down with toys in her mouth. Because she's still not that great at going downstairs. Go on, show everyone. Oh my God, it literally makes me nervous every time. Good girl. She's been barking what? at him. <laughs> to be fair, it must be terrifying to her. Is he a bit scary? <laughs> He's all right. <laughs> Oh, look, we're like the swan whisperers. <laughs> They're all coming over. I hate to say this, but everybody does this and they all come over. Everybody. Our bread's the best bread. What have they got today? Warburton's. <laughs> look at the baby swans. They're so cute. There's loads of them now. When the river is calling, said I love you forever. Hello, we're back. It's actually really successful at Go Outdoors. We managed to grab my mum a new coat some wellies, some thermal socks, and we've ordered another coat for her as well. So yeah, successful day of shopping. Although guys, I'm gonna have a little rant quickly. This honestly frustrates me so much about dog owners. Public service announcement, if you have a dog and your dog does not come back to you when you call it, do not let it off the lead. It is beyond frustrating because I'm trying to train Sunny to keep her attention on me. I don't particularly want her going up to other dogs. One, because she's small and I feel like she's vulnerable and 
too because you don't know what those other dogs are like so part of our training course we're training the dogs to keep their focus on the owner but that is incredibly difficult when I'm with Sunny on a lead and another dog comes bounding over to her and the owner's all like oh it's friendly it's friendly like yeah it might be friendly but I still don't want your dog to hype up my dog because I'm trying to train her to be calm. It honestly, it frustrates me so much. And the other thing is, Sunny is terrified of other dogs. She does not want other dogs to come up to her. It's something we're working on. She's really interested in other dogs and sometimes I'll let her have a three second sniff. That's what I've been advised. And also I get to choose the dogs that she goes up to sniff. She doesn't get to choose. Like it's on my terms, not hers. She's interested in the dogs until they're interested in her. The minute they turn around and they want to play or they give her attention, she's terrified. She runs away. She squeaks. She tries to get behind me. Honestly, she hates it. Gosh, it just, I could rant about it all day. I would rather dog owners not pick up their poo than let their dog come bounding over to my dog because what if the other owner doesn't want your dog to talk to it do you know what i mean i'm probably a very antisocial dog owner but it's hard when you're training anyway enough of that rant queen herself is down here look what a princess blimey this dog actually thinks she's human anyway i'm now finishing off a little bit of work i'm doing a job with two faced over on instagram absolutely insane it's crazy because i'm not a makeup channel and i'm not even that great at makeup but when makeup brands come in and their makeup is easy to use i love that i am here to be the average makeup girl on the internet if it's quick if it's easy and if it looks good that is my cup of tea if a makeup brand came to me and they were like right i want you to do a really exotic look with this palette i'd probably be like no i can't do that but brands who are like here you go here's our eyeshadow palette super easy to use take you five minutes i'm like yes that is what I'm here for. This is actually for their new lip injection lip glosses and I've used their original one for so long anyway. So when this job came in, I was like, hell yes, that is a bit of me. I love a lip plumping gloss. So I'm just editing the video currently. If it's up on my Instagram, go and check it out because it's taken me a long time to make this. If it's not up yet, it will be up very soon, I'm sure. But I'm just doing like the final tweaks to it because I'm not 100% happy with it and I can't put my finger on why. I'm such a perfectionist when it comes to branded jobs. It's unreal. Actually, not just branded branded jobs even like my normal videos i watch them at least three times before i upload just to make sure they're all right probably why everything takes me so long morning oh god what's going on with this eyebrow not having as good a brow day today anyway it is now friday it's actually the afternoon now i've just had lunch but i popped out to a garden center this morning called summer hill i think it was when i went to alton garden center in a vlog a couple of weeks ago Maybe it was last week actually, I can't remember. I got so many messages and comments saying you need to go to Summer Hill, it's really close, I do a really good Christmas display. So I went this morning, oh my goodness. I could not believe the Christmas vibes. I took a few little clips on my phone, so I'll insert those now and I 100% guarantee this will make you feel so Christmassy. That is what happened this morning. I feel like I'm really zoomed in. Oh yeah, I am. Like I said, I'm now back and I've just had lunch. I'm gonna crack on with some work this afternoon. I've got quite a lot of editing to do tomorrow. I really like setting myself the deadline of having Sundays as my day off because then Friday and Saturday, I wanna get everything done. It's working out a lot better for me. The best delivery of the month, of the month of the month sunny your food is here i got you some new treats to try as well do you want to try these fish ones oh look at this oh is that so yummy yep she's gonna go and hide it from me now sunny's been on butternut box since i think about august now oh my god they've sent a little tote bag with it Totes love dogs. <laughs> That's gonna be super handy for like taking sunny stuff out and about, going on any trips. But yeah, she's been on button up box since about August. It comes packaged so well. So it comes with like this insulation. This arrived a few hours ago and I've still not put it away because I know it's fine in this. So if you've never heard of button up box, it is basically just cooked dog food. 
So the ones that Sunny likes or that agree with her, she likes all of them, but the turkey one gives her a little bit of an upset tummy and the fish one makes her breath stink, so I don't get her that one. <laughs> a bit selfish of me, I know. So every month she has eight beef, eight chicken, eight lamb and four pork. I think that's every month. I decided to add these treats this month because she's never tried them before. As you can see, they are a big hit. I like that they've just got these pure ingredients in them. Anyway, I'm going to put these in the freezer now. I'm so happy that we switched to Butternut Box. All the food genuinely smells really nice when I dish it up every day. So she has one of these pouches per day. She's on 200 grams. They've got meat, they've got vegetables, um, different herbs in. Just full of goodness, really. And the website calculates how many calories a day your dog needs. So you put in like their weight and how active they are and stuff. So one of these pouches is everything that Sunny needs to eat in a day. It's just so easy. This isn't sponsored, but I do have a referral code. So if you want to try Butternut Box, if you enter the code HANNAH656 at checkout, you'll get the trial half price, which is two weeks of food for £11. I would highly recommend it. I'm so glad I did that trial with someone else's code. Do you love those fish treats? Your breath's gonna be stinky. So I'm gonna put her food away in the freezer now. It just takes up one freezer drawer full. And basically every couple of days, I'll get like two packets out and put them in the fridge. Obviously let them defrost and everything. But this is my next job for this morning. Transferring the food over, getting it all ready for a lucky spoil pooch. I was just wondering, could I book a phone appointment with possibly Dr. Please. Oh, okay, that's fine. So I just tried to book a doctor's appointment. Let's make myself comfy for this little chat because it is something I want to chat about. I just tried to book a doctor's appointment with my usual GP, but at the minute they're doing um, phone on the day appointments only. So I'm going to have to phone like eight o'clock in the morning on Monday to try and get an appointment because I spoke to my doctor about this hmm, when? Maybe like two or three months ago now. Basically, I think some of you will know that I've been on antidepressants twice in my life um the most recent time i started taking them january 2020 um or was it december either last december or this january and i'm still on them now the ones that i'm on are called sertraline some people call them sertraline i don't know how to pronounce it can you hear my voice i'm a bit nervous i don't know why i get nervous talking about this um but anyway they don't recommend being on sertraline for that long like the length i've been on them is fine i've obviously been on them for 10 or 11 months now but when i spoke to my doctor a few months ago she was like do you feel ready to come off them yet? Like, do you want to start weaning yourself off? Because it's not ideal to stay on them for a long amount of time. I don't know why. I don't know the science behind that. There must be a reason. Probably something to do with the chemicals in your brain. And at the time I said, to be honest, no, I don't feel ready to come off them. But fast forward a couple of months and I do now feel ready to start the process of weaning myself off them, which is really good news. But I know it's a bit of a roller coaster of a journey to come off antidepressants. I've done it once before and from what I can remember, I mean, I think I was on them, how old was I? I think I was in year 13, my last year of sick form, I think it was. So about four years ago, I think. I can't really remember, but I know it wasn't an easy ride. So I just wanted to say, if I do end up starting this journey of weaning myself off them, if in any of my weekly vlogs, there are days where I seem a little bit like off, or a bit down that's probably the reason why i'm not just suddenly gonna turn into a moody old grinch because i'm so excited for christmas this year and i don't want this to take away from the excitement that i'm feeling of these cozy vibes and i'm loving autumn and winter right now and i don't feel as reliant on them anymore which is really good but i also just wanted to say that any of you guys who might be struggling with your mental health trust me when i say the best thing you can do is phone your local gp it's not as scary as you might think it is everything is all confidential unless they're like particularly worried about you then obviously they're going to seek help but generally speaking it's all confidential you don't have to tell anyone the best thing you can do is get help and i know everybody says that and it seems really scary in your head trust me i've been there the hardest step of getting help is the first step but once you make that leap and you tell someone how you're feeling that they can give you answers they might be able to put you on a waiting list for therapy or something which i know is often a really long waiting list i personally didn't really want that just because i've been on search line once in the past and i know it works for me they were a bit more understanding they were like okay it's kind of like a temporary fix for me and my doctors are happy to provide that for me but i want to say that if 
if your doctor does say you need to go on medication or they advise you do there is absolutely no shame in that i remember the first time i went on antidepressants i was really like down about it it almost made me feel worse because i was like oh my god i've got myself into this state now i need medication i need help and that's just such a silly mindset to have it is okay to need the help of medication every now and again i know it works for me personally i have no embarrassment around the topic if you need the help of medication it's better to do that and be on the meds than to be too ashamed or whatever to go on them and feel down or feel in your own head do you know what i mean so yeah just wanted to say that if you're struggling contact your gp literally just google the number of your local gp give them a ring hello can i book an appointment it'll be over the phone now as well most likely anyway i think tell them do you know what i'm struggling i feel i need some help is there anything you can do and once you've done that step you're on the right track my friend now the puppy is barking sunny what is it are you okay was there a nasty cat in the garden how dare they little pup i hate to break it to you little girl but you're not very scary i don't think the pussy cats are gonna be scared of you is it the builders you can hear oh my gosh look at that little face i'd love to have a side profile like sunny's you're so pretty i could literally just time lapse this dog and I feel like everyone would enjoy watching it. I would enjoy watching it. Are you sick of me? <laughs> what are we watching? It's exhausting doing this. Good morning, everyone. Happy spooky season. Happy Halloween. It's Saturday today, which is why I'm channeling with ghost vibes. <laughs> joking i just look rough i really can't be bothered with makeup right now i'm about to go to the woods to take sunny for a walk this morning i've got quite a lot to do today yesterday was not a great day for me i never spoke about coming off my antidepressants literally i think it's probably in the last clip i do still have bad days sometimes but i don't feel i have enough bad days to warrant staying on them but yesterday was a bad day i just have days where i feel so tired and unmotivated and i actually went down to have a 15 minute nap like a baby and i slept for two hours yesterday afternoon so my body obviously needed it but it's saturday i'm feeling a lot more positive i've had a good night's sleep and i'm about to try a coconut <laughs> very random i know but the team at coco and eve very kindly sent me one of their new products last week and they sent a couple of drinking coconuts with the package oh my god look product of barley wow this coconut has been to better places than i have so i thought i would try it this morning only problem is i have no idea how to open it do i like cut a hole in the top <laughs> or no i don't get it either i've got a feeling this is not the right way to do it oh here we go this bit feels a bit softer in the middle i don't get it i'm gonna have to google how to open a coconut i've been hacking away at the poor thing and now i'm unsure whether it's even for drinking i don't know if it's like a pineapple and it's just like a snack i wouldn't last five minutes in hawaii would i success it only took a screwdriver and a hammer and mum put the screwdriver in the top of it and banged it down and it made a little hole i think there was like i think the coconut bit is inside that do you i, I can't work it out because you get the brown round of coconut and the yeah. flesh on the inside so which that's what that? i thought i, I thought they'd know. taken the brown off but i actually think the brown is inside that no i don't think it is i yeah. have no idea anyway it's draining out now, slowly but surely. The coconut water is coming. How exotic for a Saturday morning. Okay, the moment of truth. Let me say, it's not a grab and go kind of drink. It took 20 minutes to drain this much. I don't think I've ever had coconut water before. I've had coconut milk, but not water. It's got bits in it, can you see? Not sure how I feel. Oh my God, look at my face. <laughs> anyway, so easily amused. Oh, it doesn't smell very nice. Ew. <laughs> I feel a bit bad saying that because it's come all the way from Bali for me to taste it and go, ooh, not really for me though, I have to be honest. Let me know in the comments down below, do you like coconut water or not? Have you ever tried it? Maybe it tastes different in the boxes. I know you can buy coconut water like from Tesco and stuff. Maybe that tastes nicer because I can't imagine anyone drinking this and thinking, mmm, lovely. I really like coconut as well, that's the other thing. But that's not being me. The barley coconut has been poured down the sink. We've just had a Halloween photo shoot and the model is destroying the set. A diva tantrum. I'll insert the pictures on screen of what we just took. They're lovely, aren't they? But it did take a lot of bribing with ham. Diva demands ham on set. Ham or sausage will do. The leaves are turning brown. Autumn comes too soon. Oh dear. 
Guess who just got caught in the rain? <laughs> Guess who else took a wrong turn and added 40 minutes to the walk? We did. <laughs> it was pouring. My hair is soaked. I'm gonna have to wash my hair tonight. Sunny is the dirtiest she's ever been. Your mascara's <laughs> running down your face, your fringe as well. It's like a barcode. <laughs> oh dear, we were only gonna go out for a quick walk and it was really nice weather when we got here. We've ended up walking for like an hour and a half, nearly two hours in the pouring rain. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I'm looking a lot more put together now. We were all absolutely drenched. So I gave Sunny a bath. She's nice and clean and dry now. Then I had a shower and washed my hair. So I'm feeling like a new woman, honestly. I put a little bit of makeup on because we're actually just about to head out again. It's still raining, but we're not going for a walk. We're actually gonna head to a little tea room this afternoon, treat ourselves to a bit of afternoon tea. We've never been to this place before, but at the minute, our main mission in life is to find all of the dog-friendly cafes in our area. So this is another one we're gonna go and try it out. It's called Lovely Libby's. And I think we're just gonna have like a coffee and a bit of cake because we've been eating lunch, so we're not that hungry. We just like to do something with Sunny on the weekend so it feels like a weekend rather than just another day. So we're gonna pop out and do that. And I wanted to show you one of the deliveries I had this week. Oh my goodness, I'm so obsessed with this. So it's from a brand called Porcella. I actually posted a picture of this on Sunny's Instagram and on mine, and it is a personalized lead. Hang on, let me put this on the floor to show you a bit better. Okay, here we go. So this is what the lead looks like. It's even got Sunny's name on it. It feels such amazing quality and they're all fully customizable. So you choose the colors. This one I think is called the Rosy Lead. I didn't put this together myself because there are so many options. I felt a bit overwhelmed, didn't know what to pick. And I really like the look of this one on their Instagram. So I literally just sent this to the girl and I was like could I grab this one please and she very kindly gifted this to me which is so lovely because she's a small business and she's starting out but she is doing so well already and I'm really not surprised you even get to choose like the color of your metal it's such a good idea for a dog walking business there's one called um the teddy i think teddy's choice or something like that that one is also beautiful i'll put a picture on screen sorry i've just turned the telly down i noticed that was incredibly loud but then just by chance a new harness arrived on the same day so i ordered this one from dog adora i'm obsessed with buying harnesses at the minute i can't stop but I didn't even plan this, but how well do they go together? So Sunny's gonna wear this to the tea room, I think, today. If you've got a dog, definitely go and check out Porcella. I'll leave a link in the description down below. They are such nice quality leads, and I love that you can have any color you want. You can change the color of this, you can change the color of the rope, the color of the handle, the metal, everything. She also does like slip leads, and she does split leads, so you can get ones that have like two bits at the end if you've got two dogs. Two really cool small businesses. I love supporting small businesses especially when it comes to sunny stuff because you can just tell how much thought and how much care has gone into these products anyway i am boiling in this jacket so i'm gonna put these on sunny and then we're gonna get going we put this one on oops one leg in look at that combination doesn't that look lovely oh beautiful <laughs> you still tired from our walk oh don't tell me you're gonna have another nap <laughs> Okay, so we've just got here. I ordered the Victoria sponge and mum went for coffee and walnut. They both look so good. I've got a mocha and mum has got a pot of tea. It's so pretty in here though. Look at all this decor. <laughs> Don't drink my coffee. I'm just going to rest your chin right next to it. <laughs> you may be thinking, Han, why have you added some deep, soothing background music to this clip? I absolutely haven't. Just playing that for the dog. Let me pause it, it's probably a bit annoying. It's actually the Saturday before fireworks night and I think a lot of people are gonna be doing at home fireworks this year. They've already started, I can hear some, sort of like in gardens in the distance and Sunny can hear them too, obviously. She's a lot better hearing than I do. I'm just trying not to react. I've just got some soothing dog music on, which we've listened to before and she really likes it. But generally speaking, I'm trying not to make a big deal out of it because I don't want her to think it's anything to worry about. I think it's fair to say though, I am not looking forward to fireworks night. When is it? Thursday, the 5th of November? I usually love fireworks night. I'm all here for the fireworks displays, but unfortunately I just thought it's gonna be a lot of at-home displays this year and, and they are dangerous. I hope there's not a lot of accidents. If you are doing an at-home fireworks display, please be careful. I mean, I'm pretty sure a lockdown has just been announced. I don't know, it's 10 to six right now. I think Boris was making some announcement. I'm not sure. I'm just trying to keep my dog calm. I mean, she doesn't look too stressed. Oh my goodness, it's Halloween and my bulb's gone. 
freaky hands up if it's really late you've been editing all evening you still haven't finished editing this vlog and you just realized you never ended it same i don't know about you but i always feel a bit disheartened when people end their vlogs just like with text saying then i forgot to finish the vlog see you next week i always feel a bit like flat so i didn't want to do that to this vlog here i am in all my disheveled glory to say good night guys thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this weekly vlog i'm very sorry that it was a little bit dull but guess what lockdown round two the vlogs are about to get even more dull a little bit stressed about it but i will get into that in the next vlog i hope you guys are all staying well remember to look after yourselves stay safe and i'll see you again soon with another little video bye guys love ya